Okay, now that we're looking at the Pinwheel Galaxy, if we go up and change our view going back to Google Earth, pops back to where we were. Now I'm going to start looking for the South Pole. See if the same thing happens down there. This is another thing that's neat. If you go up to your upper corner, and you move the Earth around the North Pole, this is how the Earth looks on axis. Of course, it doesn't go this way, it goes this way. The sun's out there. Oops, it doesn't go that way. It goes this way. This is how the Earth rotates. Phew. Yeah, you didn't even think of it going that way. I never did. I always thought it was going this way. Well, we're going this one. I think that's one of NBC has a um, <laughs> their world going the wrong way on their logo at one time, and everybody complained that. But that's the way the Earth goes around every single day. Okay. I went down and got as close as I can. You can't get exactly to 90, 60, 60, 0, or whatever that would show up as. 90, 0, 0. But I do have the South Pole. Now, this is as I'm in. Focus as well as I can. I can't. I guess I can't focus once you get going in this thing. So, anyhow, I'll restart it. Okay, I got the South Pole pointed. You can see all the actually some programming coming out of there, I guess, however they program this. They keep coming out. It looks, okay, it's bigger, it kind of looks like it's forming a black hole, but that goes away as you get further and further away from the South Pole. And it starts to form the South Pole. There it is, you're coming into Antarctica. Oh my gosh, there's a hole clear through the Earth. There it is. If you look straight over, you got it. Now I'm going to turn that around by going to Google Skies. See what's on the other side. You know, I always thought the North Star was up there. But anyhow, we're heading down there. And we have come to, oh my gosh, another red hole. Oh, and this is really interesting. I'll have to do that again to prove it. I don't know what, but I'm going to go and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to switch. You guys caught it yet, what I see? Switch it to the other side. Go back to the North Pole. South, excuse me, the South Pole. And there it is. Go back to Google Earth. What's going to be directly opposite of what's on top? If we're coming into it. We're going to find out. What's there? Oh my god. This is weird. <laughs> I don't like this. It's Mesier. Let me get it closer. But it's Mesier 101. I don't want to get closer. You'll think I'm not. There. If I go and click on this, what is it? What is it at the bottom of the South Pole? Mesier 101. <laughs> the pin we Oh my gollies, this is a discovery. That means that the black hole goes to the center of the Earth and it's really, we're warped around in time space because as we go to the black hole, just to prove this again, go up to Google Earth. I'm not doing this. Clicking on it. Who knows where we're headed towards it. And... If that isn't the pinwheel galaxy, I don't know what is. <laughs> to prove it, we go to we could I'll start something else up. But I'll try and prove that by going through whole things. It might just be a programming error in Google Earth. Well, I've thought it through. This is looking off the South Pole. Click to go back to the South Pole. There's the black hole go to the North Pole. Click on the North Pole. 
Whatever it is, right there, I think it is. Get that little baby, might have to come a little bit closer. Click on the North Pole. Two here. Yeah, come in. Oh, you're not over it, so you can't see what's over it. That's your right over it. This is the hard thing. Let's just kind of pretend we're over it. Let's see what happens on the other side. And we're going to... I can't find the red hole. Oh, maybe there's a red hole. The 